Sinusitis is an inflammation in the sinuses, which are four pairs of air-filled structures inside the forehead, nose, or cheeks. That's why it is also known as sinus infection. Sinuses make the mucus that runs out from our nose. Some pathogens, like bacteria, viruses, and fungi, can cause inflammation in these structures. When they enter, they grow germs and ultimately block the sinuses, filling them with fluid and leading to nasal congestion. Nasal congestion is the most common symptom of this disease. Sinusitis could last from 2 to 12 weeks. Therefore, it has four types, acute, subacute, chronic, and recurrent sinusitis. This infection could be mitigated by itself, but sometimes medication is needed. In some cases, chronic sinusitis can't recover and needs surgery. Untreated sinusitis could lead to brain or spinal issues. This video will explore detailed information from sinusitis types to their ultimate treatment. What is sinusitis? Sinusitis is an inflammation of sinus tissues that leads to redness and swallowing of the face. This inflammation happens due to an infection in the sinuses. Sinuses are four pairs of cavities connected by a small passage inside the forehead and cheekbones. These structures make mucus that keeps the nose moist and protects it from pollutants or allergens. These spaces are filled with air. Sometimes, viruses or bacteria enter there, leading to germs, which ultimately block the spaces, and fluid fills the spaces to replace air. These germs irritate the spaces and cause an infection. Sinusitis differs from a sinus infection, as sinusitis is affected by viruses, bacteria, fungi, and other allergens. Still, a sinus infection is used 99% of the time as a virus infection. Sinusitis is also known as rhinosinusitis. Sinusitis is not a contagious disease. However, the virus or bacteria that cause this disease may spread through respiratory droplets when the affected person coughs or sneezes. What are the types of sinusitis? We divide sinusitis into four types based on two factors. One is the duration they last and the second is the pathogens that cause the infection. These types are acute sinusitis. This sinus infection lasts for up to four weeks. Symptoms of acute sinusitis include nasal congestion, pain in the face, and a decreased ability to sense smell. This infection is caused by viruses, just like the common cold. Subacute sinusitis, if the symptoms of sinusitis last between four to 12 weeks, it's known as subacute sinusitis. Chronic sinusitis, the main cause of chronic sinusitis is bacteria, the symptoms of which last for at least 12 weeks. In this type, the infection growth in the sinuses is called nasal polyps, which could lead to swallowing the lining of the sinuses. Recurrent acute sinusitis. If the symptoms of sinusitis occur four or more times a year, it's called current acute sinusitis. Each time, the symptoms of sinusitis remain less than two weeks. Bacterial and viral sinusitis. Sinusitis is mostly caused by viruses just like the common cold. Bacteria can also cause this infection. Sometimes, bacteria infect after the recovery from viral sinusitis. Viral sinusitis symptoms run away within a week, so if they last over a week, it's a bacterial infection. In the case of bacterial sinusitis, the patient feels symptoms have improved, but then appear more severe. Fungal sinusitis. A fungus causes this type, a more serious infection than bacterial and viral infection. People with weak immune systems are at greater risk of getting this infection. This type of inflammation causes serious health issues, which could lead to complications and, ultimately, death. Nasal congestion and pain in the cheeks or forehead are the symptoms of this infection. There are two categories of fungal sinusitis. Invasive fungal sinusitis in which the infection could spread to the eyes, and non-invasive fungal sinusitis affects only the nose. Pansinusitis, 
Usually, this infection affects one or two pairs of sinuses, but sometimes, this inflammation can infect all four pairs of sinuses at that stage. This infection is known as pansinusitis. What are the causes of sinusitis? Except for bacteria, viruses, fungi, and some allergens, some other conditions could trigger this infection, including common cold, influenza, nasal polyps, and allergic rhinitis, such as asthma, hay fever, and others. What are the risk factors that influence sinusitis? Some people have more chance of getting this disease due to the following factors. Allergies in the nose, respiratory infection like asthma. Having a deviated septum means a tissue lining that divides the nose is not straight. A weak immune system. Dental infection, smoking. What are the symptoms of sinusitis? Sinusitis usually happens after another infection, such as a cold. This infection affects young and child, but their symptoms may vary. Nose is blocked, fever up to 38 degrees Celsius, discharge of green or yellow mucus from the nose, problem in breathing, sense of smell is reduced, pain around cheeks, eyes, and forehead, non-stop dull pain, severe pain in the early morning. Children who have sinusitis may breathe through the mouth. They face difficulty in feeding and become irritable. Their nasal may produce sound while speaking. How is sinusitis diagnosed? A doctor will examine the symptoms of sinusitis and take a physical test. He will check the pressure at the head and cheeks by pressing two fingers. He may see the inside of his nose to check the signs of inflammation. In case of chronic sinusitis, the doctor may take some other tests like imaging tests, these include X-ray, MRI and CT scan. Nasal endoscopy, in this test, the doctor uses a lighted tube fiberscope to visualize the nasal path or sinuses. He obtained a culture test sample and detected the presence of pathogens. Blood test, to check the factors that weaken the immune system. Allergy test, in this test, the doctor examines the environmental factors that cause sinusitis. How is sinusitis treated? Mostly, sinusitis is caused by a virus and cannot be treated by medication. But here are some tips that you can follow to mitigate the symptoms associated with sinusitis. To overcome nasal congestion, place a warm cloth on the face to relieve sinus pressure pain. Clear the thick mucus of the nose using nasal saline and try to moisturize the room air using a humidifier. If bacteria cause sinusitis, antibiotics may be used to treat it. In some cases, chronic sinusitis does not improve by itself or with medication. In this case, surgery could be done, which would clear the sinuses and remove the polyps. How sinusitis could be prevented? You can treat sinusitis by yourself by following these guidelines. Take enough rest. Drink more fluids. Take painkillers. Avoid the factors that could trigger sinusitis. Quit smoking. Clean the nose with salty water daily. What are the complications associated with sinusitis? Sinusitis can heal by itself, but a sinus infection can sometimes lead to death, causing infections. This condition happens when infectious bacteria or fungi reach the brain. Sinusitis could lead to meningitis a chronic brain and spinal cord infection. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. And as always, stay curious and keep exploring.